and how the, how the property managers and the body corporate managers need to work together on this to achieve a timely and effective results uh, for those affected. As property managers, you can action works on behalf of your owners, whereas capital or body corporate managers in general have this, uh, do not have this authority. Sorry. Therefore, one concern that springs to mind is roof leaks. Um, if an urgent matter arises and it's after hours, or after business hours that is, please arrange the works yourselves. Um, we sort of uh, of the belief that if it's urgent, it's better off being attended to rather than perhaps on a Friday afternoon sitting there all weekend um, with the potential that the roof can sort of collapse in or obviously cause further harm to the tenant and stuff like that. So, and then from there on Monday morning, obviously we can try to address that concern. Um, and in the meantime, if you shoot us an email, what's happened, um, who's been appointed and what you've done about it, um, obviously, we'll always try and try and assist, but um, sometimes, obviously, we're not contactable. So, yeah. um, and on that, for emergency matters that arise during business hours, um, hours are 9 a.m. to 4:30, uh, Monday to Friday, and Capital will always endeavour to go back to the committee um, and receive that approval before we proceed with any work. Um, however, um, this can't always be done, so we will assist there in making sure that everyone's safe and any um, health and safety risks are. Are avoided. So, for emergency matters that are outside um, business hours, you can call the Capitals Emergency um, Service Line on this is the number there on the screen. That's 0431 149 772. That's always a good number just to have saved somewhere. Um, and you'll speak to actually someone like one of us as a body court manager, or if, if you can't get to us, there's a voicemail service, um, and one of us will give you a call back. The final topic today is providing access to lots so that contractors can carry out their routine inspections. Um, Bodies Corporate often arrange fire door, termite and pest inspections and the uh, unit owners actually do pay for these. So they do appreciate them actually being, being done. We will always provide notice for an upcoming inspection and request that the tenant be available to provide access to the contractor and if not, um, the property manager should actually be providing access. So, um, if an inspection, an inspection is missed, the capital is not responsible, it actually does fall back on, on you guys as property managers. Um, it should be noted that additional fees then do occur, um, and the owner then will have to um, come up with this additional fees, so if that first inspection is missed. Um, and just to finalise today's topic, um, obviously being maintenance, there's a few questions that I'll pose to you. Um, you can see how well you've absorbed this information and your understanding of it all. So, I guess the first one is if a water leak is coming from a burst pipe uh, in a wall between the ensuite and a walk in wardrobe in a unit, who is responsible here? Does anyone have any thoughts? It would be the owner's responsibility, unless, of course, the water has damaged more than one lot. Yeah, that's correct. So, obviously, this is all internal, so it's sort of not coming off a main line or anything like that, and therefore, Generally, the owner will be responsible here, and only one lot is affected. As the gentleman said, if it does start to affect others, then you start to get into insurance claims and stuff like that. So, um, the second scenario is a sliding glass door from the lounge to the balcony needs um, repair. Who would be responsible here? And keep in mind um, the red outline that we sort of spoke about earlier. So, does anyone have any thoughts? Yep, again. So this is, that actually sort of divider there is not, is actually still within the um, boundary of the lot where the actual balustrade or, or balcony railing is the external um, structure of the lot. So um, the owner is correct there again. And the final one here is a townhouse has a leaking roof caused by some sealant as well. You are not sure of the build, um, of the format plan. However, once speaking with capital, it's confirmed that it's a building format plan. So who is responsible here? That's correct. So even though the roof is only protecting that one townhouse, it is outside the lot and therefore deemed common property. Um, I believe in those welcome packs too, there's some additional scenarios there that you can refer to. Um, and they're just common ones that we receive on a daily basis, so they can assist your understanding as well. Um, thank you today, and obviously if you have any questions, you can catch me at the end there. Um, but I'll pass on to Jane now for just for a